Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, I've seen the question asked a number of times and I know it's gonna be asked again. So that is what this video is meant for. If you are about to purchase a few interesting Coro props from your favorite vendors, you may find that some of those props if they are, let's say, Boscoyo Studios, uh, they may be already included in the X Lights download that's available here on your layout tab. So, what you can do is you can purchase an, uh, a, a model, let's say, from, from James at Boscoyo, and you can select it like the candy canes or the hats or the stockings. I mean, a lot of these singing elements, oh my goodness, singing elements are fantastic to have, to be able to have these already done and ready for you. It's awesome. But what about there's the models that aren't there already? And that's what we're going to attempt to talk about today. So, if you already have purchased, let's say, some of James's uh, mini trees, or uh, I, the mini trees are the ones, the little trees are the ones that, that really stand out. Um, these things are fantastic. I have uh, 16 of these little guys that I'm adding in this year, um, right here, and uh, it's a 360 degree tree. It's perfect. It has a little star on it, but the problem is, is it one of the questions everybody asks is where's the model in the download for this mini tree or just in general for any of these trees and there are some to be sure this diyc mini tree is there and it does have it however um it is a special model it's a model that does require specific points and pins so if we look at some of the other models that james has he's like um the snowflakes or you have the the new decor models that are spinners and candy canes and so forth those models have specific use cases that they require the model download but whenever it comes to the mini trees we can we what we've learned is that the model to build in x lights for example for this mini tree here the model to build is already built into the functionality of x lights so i want to show you today how you can build this mini tree uh, or any of the other ones using the information on the website that you find uh, from any of the vendors. Is, this isn't just for uh, James at uh, Boscoya Studios. This is for any of the vendors that you might find uh, that sell props and so forth, that you can create your own uh, models and you don't have to worry about if, if, you're, uh, if, there, if somebody shared the right model with you. So with that being said, we're going to start, actually, I guess we'll start with reading the description of the product because James really tells us exactly what we need to know in here. He says, uh, this model use, uh, uh, uses 17 pixel nodes, uh, and it, it, it's somewhere in there. It says 5 times 17, so that's 5 rows of 17 pixels. If you look at the model here, you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of these uh, nodes, and then you have 17 tall. So that makes it really, really simple for us to go in and create the model. So all we have to do, and this is, it's a, it's a 180 degree tree, what we'll do is we'll create a new tree model, and we'll click and drag. We're going to change this degrees to 100 and, uh, uh, 180. And that gives us our half conical shape. And then we're going to go down here. And if we, if you don't know, uh, where's our calculator, quick calculator. We have uh, our, our uh, calculator tells us that if you have five rows of 17, that equals 85 pixels on your string. So if that's the case, if you have 85 pixels on this uh 300 or a 180 degree tree what we need to do is we need to change this string count to because most people are going to build the mini trees with one string what if we just change this to one string and we put the total number of pixels in here which is 85 okay we already know that if we have one string of 85 we have five rows of 17 pixels we're going to have five strands of 17 pixels and bam, there you go. You've just created your Boscoyo Studio uh, mini tree uh, uh, large model. And all the other ones are, are made identical. Um, I'm, I, I, 
all you have to do is just go and look. We can go back and you can look at all of the other ones. Uh, you have the, uh, here's the medium one. We can click on the medium and the directions on how to make it are followed exactly. So this is a 10 by 10. So this actually has 100 nodes. If you do a full 180 degree tree, you can do the same thing here. I, I guess we could do this one real quick. Um, click on the model for the the tree and you're gonna you're gonna use once again you're gonna use one string you're gonna have a hundred nodes because 10 times 10 is a hundred and you have 10 strings per strand and bam there you go you have a mini tree that is 360 degrees that will work for your Boscoyo model now the star on top of this uh, he says multiple times it's a 20 count uh, node star and that's the other question everybody asks. Where are the stars for James's uh, models? Well, this is built into X Lights. Once again, we can create a new star model. And you have choices on where you want to start it. You can either start your star model here at the bottom of the crotch or here at the top in the center. You can either go clockwise from those locations or you can go counterclockwise. So you have four options. And over here, this is where your starting location is selected. We just select where they are in the drop down, which one is appropriate for you. I like putting my uh, start point at the very top of the star and I go clockwise. So clockwise would be how I put my nodes on it and that's how I would do it. So the other thing we have to do is change the number of nodes. We have uh, 20 nodes per uh, the little mini star and we can make this a little itty bitty mini star here and move it right down and bam, we have our mini tree all done. Now we're not done yet because there's a couple more props that I'd like to share with you that are really simple to add in. Um, another prop that James uh, and other vendors may have are arches. If you purchase a large arch from uh, Boscoyo, it's usually 50, 50 pixels. But if you, if you get a small one or a medium one, they're 30 or 20 nodes each. And in order to change that, you just come up here and you select the create arches, obviously, and then you just put the number of pixels in the nodes. And it's really easy to make this arch model for yourself. Now, let's say you purchase a wreath from James. So he has three different size wreaths currently. And uh, if we want to do a wreath, there's actually two models here. I'm going to show you. This is the circle. This is the wreath model. But the, what's what's not so nice about the wreath model is that you can't put layers in. If you have multiple layers, then you really can't use a, uh, a circle for it. So we'll go and we'll use this create new circle model. And it looks the same, but it's not the same because now down here we have uh, our layer sizes box, which isn't available in our wreath model. So if you have a Boscoyo three ring wreath, then you may want to follow along with this. Simply, uh, for example, I have the large uh, Boscoyo wreath, which has 99 nodes in it. And I know the layer sizes are equal. They're all 22 or uh, 33 pixels each. So to put your layer sizes in, you just hit 33, comma, 33, comma, 33. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he has, let's see, we'll hit enter. And there you have, this is his larger version of the wreath. Uh, I know that you can get, I think it's a 56 node wreath. If you divide 56 by three rings, you have 18. We'll say it's 18. 18, 18 nodes each. 18 times three is 54 nodes. That's what it is. If you get a 54 count node wreath, those are the small ones. You click on that. You can do the exact same. You just change your node count to 54. And then you change your layer sizes here to 18 comma 18 comma 18 and now you've created what we call a concentric uh, model or concentric wreath and uh, these are very useful now we're going to use the exact same information that we just learned from the create new circle model to create new star model and if you purchase a uh, star model that is the the 23 inch star that has 90 nodes it has three rings to it some of them have three rings some stars he has a bunch of stars but to be sure you can build them just as fast if you know the dimensions so I know his 23 inch star has 90 nodes I know that the layer sizes are starting from the middle is 20 30 40 and so if you add 20 plus 30 plus 40 that equals 90 20, 30, 40. 
and you hit enter, there you go. You have you have your entire star model completed. And once again, you can make uh, you can make it known where you're starting your model at. You can also make it known where your models are starting here as well. So if you if you start on the on the outer going clockwise, or if you start on the top outer going clockwise, the bottom, you have multiple locations and ways to wire those props in. So with that being said, I hope this video helped open your eyes up to being able to use what X Lights already has and not have to worry about did I download the model and it's not available and you couldn't find it what X lights does is builds the models for you you just have to learn how the tools work and it should be relatively easy for you to do for yourself as well so folks like this video if you like it share it with everybody if you loved it remember to hit the big red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and also click the bell for notifications comments in the comments section down below for future videos if you'd like to see something or you need a little better explanation or a, a tip and trick just made for you let us know in the comments section below by the way, if you haven't signed up yet, please head over to the PPD website, pixelprodisplays.com. Sign up for a free membership. You get access to all of the videos that we've created from 2018 and before, as well as you can sign up and try out our brand new PPD sequence club. You save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on your pixel purchases, your Coro purchases, and also your controller builds. There's a number of affiliate vendors that offer our PPD Sequence Club members a huge discount whenever they become members with us. They also save money whenever they purchase from other vendors. So thank you for joining us, folks. This is Clyde Lindsay signing out. We'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And don't